Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be going out to do some photography, some street photography. And for today's video, I wanted to ask ourselves, well, I want to ask you guys a little question. But first, we need to meet up with the boys because we're on our way for some dinner. Let's go. Jeez. Look at that, that's a Corvette Stingray, I think. I see that car here all the time. I really want to ask the owner for like a photo shoot. It's just such a nice one. Look at it go. Such an unusual but beautiful vintage car. So what I want to ask you guys is, what are some photography rules that you, that you feel like just need to die? I know I have some, but I want to know what you guys think. In very sad news, my Fuji X Wonder V is out of action. <laughs> How's the audio? The other week I went to Amsterdam, my water bottle leaked and it flooded my backpack and my X Wonder V was in there. And basically it stopped working, it didn't want to turn on, but I dried it out and it came back to life. But now, even though it turns back on, all the focus doesn't work in certain modes. Like, I'm fingers crossed I can, you know, I can get it fixed, but I'm not, I'm not getting my hopes up. <laughs> oh, look who it is. <laughs> oh, fresh cut. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. My problem is I'm always, I'm always self conscious. If we're getting, if we're getting street portraits, yeah, and you want to put it on? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Well, there's food coming. What are those? The food, the food. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just like, no. What's that? No oil caps? Oh, yeah. Extra roti. This is Kong Kong Blacha. Oh, what is this? Okay, we got Kong Kong Blacha here, which is morning glory. Morning glory. Fish face. face. One, two, Hang it, man. three. Roti chanai. We've got some itik salai, which is some roast duck, and a coconut curry. Lovely. Production teams. <laughs> no, I pay I pay two fifty for this. Is that it? Which is cheaper than what it is on eBay. Is it like two sure. or no, no. three five? How about they make a two eight for this? Is it, three, five? it says two eight right there. No, no, that's, that's the that's the viewing lens. Okay. <laughs> uh, Joshua Kamat, Roti four G. That's my new TLR, and it's very light. I love it. I haven't shot any film with it. I haven't used this at all yet. Virgin. It's complete. Yeah, exactly. I haven't got my hands on it yet. <laughs> well, that's some good condition. That's some very, Kandish. Kandish. very good Kandish. Kandish. Are we gonna, Are we going to make that a thing? Kandish? Well, it is not. <laughs> There's scratches. Right? I don't think the light meter works, but that, I don't use light meters with those cameras. It is, it is very light. It's so much lighter compared to the, compared to the Mamiya that I have. Compared to the, What's your weapon of choice today? That's your... Come on. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> this is the only camera you'll ever need. GoPro. Today I'm shooting the Overlab. Like any. Oh, you had to... Oh, you revealed it. You had to bring the fucking one. Have this one? I have no idea. When I decide to upload a video. You did. Oh, but you got like a little accessory on it. Yeah. What is that? The What's lens. The, uh, the lens? The lens is a Voigtland uh, Coloscopa, uh, 35mm, f2.5. And I've also got my, um, my like and not like um, portrait lens, just in case you do some portraits. Which is the TT Artisan. Oh, uh, the gift. The gift. Oh, you got this as a gift? The gift. Damn, you, get, you got it like that? The gift. Was it one People one be giving four. you shit on YouTube? It's the one four, isn't it? No, the missus. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, so a one four, and I've used it already, and the results are amazing. Man. Yeah. It's so good. Like definitely, if you if you're not if you want like if you want a running gun, and you want to have enough extra lanes and don't want to spend so much money, just get one of these. Man. Dude, it's hefty. Man. It's, it's, it's funny. It's like so I watched this review. They helped the original one and this one next to each other. Like identical, and it's pretty much it's identical. It's like, oh really? Tell the image. Yeah, yeah. Oh image. People prefer this one. They don't have strong opinions, but I hate you. <laughs> 
fine. Once you get your life, you won't hate me. <laughs> Shut up. What do you, you think? You're a wolf photographer. <laughs> Shut Listen, up. I think you're a wolf. I've taken photos. Oh, oh yeah, you go to the streets, go to war. Listen, shut up. Listen, you, 20, you, 20 years from now, you'll be like, whoa, you took photos in COVID times? Yeah, bro. With my eye cut. Oh, yeah, you're definitely. <laughs> We're going to. We're going to China Town. <laughs> Why did you. The way you said that. Hello. Hello. We're going to China Town. Uncle, you like some. Like, uh... Hello, cousin. <laughs> So I'm I'm difficult. I'm, I've gone by bike, so now everyone else has to ride by bike. Yeah, but we got powered. We got powered bikes. Yeah. Look at this caveman bike. Caveman bike. You got bomber club. Bike caveman a, bike. A motor. God, yeah, you even got pedal assist. This guy got pedal assist. It's not funny. It's not funny. No, it's not funny. Got to go to school. <laughs> so the initial plan was to go to Chinatown, Soho area, and just sort of see what we get just you know photo wise um as you can see here i've got a couple of photos i was happy with but largely it was kind of uneventful in my opinion there wasn't really that much going on um you know for example i mean i was happy with this one it was kind of cool trench coat you know soft focus umbrella this guy here you know it's all right nothing to write home about um and then at one point we kind of just stood there I'm uh, not really having much more of an idea of what to do and what to shoot. And it was that point when this random, uh, this random stranger came up to us, saw our cameras and said, hey, you guys should really go to Trafalgar Square. There are 15,000 football fans. And none of us really took this kind stranger that seriously because quite often in London, people who see your cameras will often come up to you and sort of suggest really cliche touristy destinations as a great place for photos so we kind of just sort of you know nodded our heads and said thank you but but we didn't really get our hopes up seeing as we didn't really have any other ideas we thought you know what why not let's go check it out and my goodness were we wrong to doubt this guy so we got a tip off from a random stranger telling us about some massive football fan celebration in Trafalgar Square and holy shit I don't even know what's happening. We've got flares, we've got like a shit ton of people. Let's hopefully get some good shots. It's a really dumb question, but did you guys get promoted? Is that what happened? No, the game's not till tomorrow. Oh my! This is the pre-match party because we haven't won at Wembley in front of fans for nearly 50 years. <laughs> this is insane. Tomorrow. The game is tomorrow. The game is tomorrow. Because we won at Wembley last year, but there was no fans. The last time we won at Wembley was 1973. So we always come down and have a big party here. Because after the game, we don't want to party, we always lose. This is pre-match. Fuck it up, make the most of it. Well, that was an unexpected turn. 
Wow. Initially, I was going to ask Ribs and Leo some deep questions about, um, you know, what sort of photography rules do, you, do they think need to die? I was going to get deep. We're going to talk about some cool stuff. But then I was like, we just had such a good time. It just, like, it just wasn't the vibe. So basically, what Leo said was that that's true photography. You just never know what you're going to get. You never know how the story will just just turn on a turn on a dime and and that's the beauty of street photography in an instant you can get something incredible so much just so much life and it was just so much fun um, yeah that's that's the beauty of street photography you, you can get a bunch of nothing and then suddenly you go around the corner and then there's a huge football celebration full of just passion and friendliness that's why you should try street photography because you get to meet people, talk to a bunch of strangers, and it's just good vibes. You never know what you're gonna get. You, you just never know. You get, you're gonna get a Forrest Gump moment. You never know what you're gonna get. Like a box of chocolates. Enjoy. Like and subscribe.